Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Air Independent Propulsion or AIP technology as we know reduces the dependency of a diesel electric submarine on surface air. It gives a small tickle charge to constantly top the submarine's battery but not enough to fully charge it like a diesel engine however it is enough to slow down the battery drain. With AIP based submarine the charge in battery can last up to several days or a week when compared to a non-AIP based submarine where charge lasts only for 15 to 20 hours. A typical conventional power plant provides 3 megawatts maximum and an AIP source with around 10% of that. AIP does not normally provide endurance or power to replace the atmospheric dependent propulsion but allows longer submergence than a conventional propelled submarine. If we talk in technical terms, AIP is an electrolytic fuel cell that releases energy by combining hydrogen and oxygen and only water as the byproduct. These cells are highly efficient and do not have moving parts, which ensures a low acoustic signatures for submarines. Talking about DRDO's fuel cell based AIP system, it is 270 kilowatt fuel cell based AIP which uses phosphoric acid as an electrolyte that reacts with hydrogen and uh, this hydrogen is generated from sodium borohydride. So this hydrogen reacts with liquid oxygen to generate electricity and water as a byproduct. The DRDO fuel cell aims to give endurance of up to 14 days to a conventional submarine. While there are different types of AIP system being pursued internationally, Fuel cell based AIP of DRDO is unique as the hydrogen is generated on board and it is also considered as one of the best AIP. This AIP will be retrofitted into existing submarine hulls by inserting an additional hull section. Now talking about the development of DRDO's AIP system, on 8th March 2021, DRDO has demonstrated a land based prototype of fuel cell based AIP system. The AIP was operated in endurance mode and maximum power mode. This AIP system will be fitted on Calvary class submarine when it will be due for retrofitting. The boat is expected to come for retrofitting in the year 2025. DRD will have to ensure all testing and development of AIP system is complete before that so that the AIP system is retrofitted into the submarine. DRDO is working to develop a module which has to be fitted on submarine when it comes for retrofitting. There are industry partners also involved in this which includes Larsen & Tubro, Thermax and NMRL of DRDO. Recently, the Vice Admiral S. N. Ghormadek conducted on-site review of the DRDO's AIP program for Project 75 submarines that is Calvary class submarine. These are the recent pictures what you are seeing in front of your screen of the visit shared by Indian Navy. Now, the Vice Admiral also complimented the perseverance of the personnel involved in AIP project and reiterated that all efforts will be made towards achieving success in this project, which is aligned with the Art Nirbhar Bharat vision of Government of India. Now, as we all know, that Indian Navy has been looking for operational AIP system as a part of Project 75I. There are only few countries, maybe just one or two. Uh, which includes Germany and South Korea, which have a proven fuel cell based AIP system, which is a major challenge for finalization of Person 25i. Therefore, it is important that DRDO's AIP system must succeed. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.